In today's video, I'm going to be making logo designs for five different companies in less than 10 minutes using an AI tool called Midjourney. So for today's video, we're going to be using a tool called Midjourney. Um, it operates in Discord as a chatbot and then we're going to be using that to create some logos. So as you could see in these examples that I'm about to share here, uh, Midjourney really struggles to create accurate text in logos. So we're, we're going to be working on five different examples in today's video for five sample companies that I came up with. Um, but we're going to try to avoid these text issues. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. So for our prompt, we're going to start with imagine, which is always our uh, first thing. And our first company is a towing company called Tropical Towing. So we're going to say, um, just to start out, logo design for a towing company called, well, let's say tow truck. Um, and then let's go ahead and put in some uh, text. So we're going to say minimalist, modern, and let's go with that. All right. So this really isn't a bad start. These actually look pretty good. Um, but the problem with these is, like we discussed, the text is a problem. So the text is very intrusive in a lot of these designs. Thankfully, with a few of them, this one here would be pretty easy to replace. Really, all of these, um, it wouldn't be too bad to replace. Uh, when you have the biggest issue is when you have that text just coming across the middle or something like that. But um, we want to try to make this as easy as possible. So I'm going to show you a couple of different things that I've found through trial and error to reduce the text that's in there. Um, I know some people said dash dash no text worked. I don't think that works for version four of mid journey, at least not in my experience. So um, we also want to try to make something that would be easy to convert to a vector. So these are not too bad because the background could easily be removed on all of these. Um, but that solid background is a key. So let's go ahead and play around with it. So I've actually found that excluding the name of the company seems to work pretty well. So I'm going to say imagine logo design for a tow truck company. And we're going to say minimalist, flat, modern, vector, and 2D. Those are some of the ones that I've found to be most effective. Okay, so as you can see, Midjourney is a little bit of trial and error because uh, all these do still have text in them, but thankfully it wouldn't be too bad to replace in a lot of these examples. Um, particularly this fourth one here wouldn't be bad at all. So in future videos, I'm gonna show you how to use a free tool called Inkscape to um, turn these into vectors and to replace text. But for today's video, I wanna just focus on making it super simple and create something where you could actually replace the text with a tool like Canva um, or you know s something that you could just add text to rather than having to try to replace and play around with things too much. Um, so out of all these that we've created so far, I definitely think that there are some that we could work with that wouldn't be too difficult to edit, even if you don't have any experience with a program like Illustrator or anything like that. So let's move on to our second example. So our second example is for a car dealership called Flash Automotive. So we're gonna say, imagine a logo design for a car dealership and we're gonna say flat minimalist icon vector and we're gonna say black and white. 
Um, that's something that I've found to actually work pretty well to keep things um, keep things pretty simple. So let's try this. Um, another example that we can use is white background. Most For the most part, they do end up with solid backgrounds, so I'm not sure that's entirely necessary, but I have found it helpful in some examples. Okay, so this is perfect. Um, this is exactly what we're looking for here because it would be really easy to just go over and replace the text in almost every single one of these. So that's great. Let's move on to our next example. Uh, the next one is a snowboard company called Peak Snowboards. So we're going to say, and because the name of this company is kind of an important element, um, we're going to make sure that we kind of include that in there. So. So we're going to say, uh, we're going to add mountain, peak, flat, minimalist, icon. OK, so these aren't too bad. They look pretty cool. Um, but they aren't exactly what we're looking for in terms of the snowboard. Um, but you could definitely use this as an emblem for a snowboarding company. So let's try to uh, do that one one more time and see if we can come up with something a little bit closer. So for this one, we're going to say logo design for a snowboard company called Peak Snowboards. And then let's say flat minimalist icon. Okay, so still nothing that is super specific to snowboards, but I think because the peak and the snowboards kind of go together, um, you know, out of the eight that we have here, we could definitely use one of those. Um, so we're going to move on to our next example, but we could revisit that if we wanted to. So the next one is going to be um, for a shipping company called Rocket Ship. Um, so this time around, I don't want to make the same mistake that I did last time where it kind of focused on the peak. So let's try to work around that. So we're going to say imagine a um, logo design for a, we're just going to say a logo design rocket ship. And we're going to say flat minimalist icon and I'm going to say um, black and white for this one because that makes it super easy to trace as a vector okay so you could see in this example this is just kind of shows some of the differences in language so for this one we said a snowboard company and then the name of the company and this one we said for a snowboard company this one we didn't say that we just put a logo design and you could see in none of these um, examples, there, there was text in none of them. So this actually turned out pretty good. I think these are all usable. Um, so we will move on to our last example here, which is a plant shop called Peter's Plant House. So uh, we'll say. say a logo design plant store plants um, this time let's play around with it a little bit we're gonna say 2d vector um, flat and icon and let's see what we get Okay, so these ones did all have text in them, but um, it would be pretty easy to replace in a few of these examples. So we can uh, roll with those. And um, all of this so far, it's 
taken less than 15 minutes and that is with waiting for mid journey to load so in total we are definitely under 10 minutes and we've created logo designs including multiple variations for five different uh, companies and brands so you this just gives you an idea of how quickly you can come up with ideas so what I'm gonna do now is open up canva and we're gonna just explore how easy it would be to replace or add text to uh, one of these examples here in canva now and I'm gonna be using a technique that I saw in another video from a youtuber called Matt Wolf um, and he has some really helpful mid journey and other AI tutorials and so I'm just going to be using a similar strategy that he used in his video um, to just cover up some of the text here in Canva and replace it with whatever um, our prompt was. So in our case, this was for the Plant House brand. Um, so you can see here, I'm just covering it up and replacing it with a box that is the same color as the background nothing super crazy here um, and you know you could get started and, and do this in 10, 10 minutes this whole video is um, you know we created brand logos for five different brands that we could do the same thing for all of them um, but the key thing to remember when doing this is to try to use some of those techniques uh, that we looked at to when you're creating the logo initially in mid journey, um, create something that's going to be really easy to edit. And I think that's the hard part. It's not necessarily the editing out, but more so how do you make sure that, um, you're giving mid journey the right, uh, prompts in order to be able to do that successfully, um, to create a logo that is easily editable and isn't going to have text all over the place. So as you can see, we've been in Canva for literally two and a half minutes, and here we have a logo that we could actually use, um, or a sample that we could send to a prospective client, or um, you know, just whatever purpose you're gonna use the logo for. And if we go back to Discord, um, you know, you'll see all of the different logos that we created are ones that would be pretty easy to add text to. We could add text next to this. We could replace the text on these, cover them up easily. Um, same thing here. So the key thing is try to try to work with some of these different prompt ideas here. And I think you're going to get some great logo results that you really enjoy. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you found it helpful, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. I'm going to be putting out a ton more awesome AI content here coming soon. I hope to see you in the next video.